What is up to my gang? What is up to my squad, kings and queens, just kids and teens? I am back with that. It's full last sky, and today we got cupcake in the office. Now I know I'm a bit late. I got y'all. I promise y'all like this video. Leave a comment and make sure you are sub to this channel. Cupcake drop. How to Raw Remix. And she dissed a few rappers now. A lot of people are surprised because usually when she drops a diss, it's towards Cardi B. This time, she took a shot at everybody. City girls leaking like a period. When I piss the whip, I'm not they So in one part of the song, she said, city girls leaking like a period. When I piss the whip them out, they burk it. Santana, their close friend, posted to his Twitter. City girls leaking like a period. When I piss the whip them out, they're burking. Laugh out loud. So Miami... What's the diss track given? He continues, nobody. Cupcake drops this record. Young Miami. It's your 305. He finishes off and he says, y'all know how me and Young Miami play with each other. We've been on the phone laughing all morning. Just like a B ain't take that song personal. Don't take my tweets personal. JT says, I like Cupcake's rap. Pure creativity, great marketing strategy. Laugh out loud, just kidding. JT then says, I'm never pressed, I'm just dramatic. Her line for Sookie was, Who the world is this John named Sookie popping up where promoters can't book me? Since you love to be on OnlyFans, I'm the only fan that your show was goody. Now hold up, everybody is upset because Sookie responded. Don't trick so everybody biggest point on twitter right now is that it's just a joke she said it's a joke if you respond you're bothered this is what a real female rapper does she's bringing real rap back now sucky said i wish a knock knee hole would rob me someone else said let me find out you outside the studio waiting on cupcake because sucky dropped this picture to my right Suki says, and I am. And they're mad at Suki because of that. So basically, you're telling Suki that Cupcake can joke and use her for publicity, marketing, and building a bigger fan base. But Suki can't joke back. Yikes. I hate to see it. Your music's terrible. It's unbearable. Might want to switch the flow as we speak. Okay. But of course, when your name Dream Doll, it's going to remain sweet. For Dream Doll, she said, your music terrible is unbearable. Might want to switch the flow up as we speak. But of course, when your name Dream Doll, is gonna remain sleep. Dream Doll responds and she says, I'm a dream to your man. To bum, I'm a nightmare. She also called Lil Baby and Offset out for cheating. And you know it ain't catch Lil Baby. Y'all I gotta do is have one, two hoes on deck. She talked about Meg getting shot and Lizzo weight. She talked about Robin Young Ma and Cardi's beat old teeth. She also talked about Tori's height. And the list can't continue forever, but I do have a question. Do y'all think this is a great marketing strategy? Yes or no? Let me know in my comment section below. And of course, before I end, it was the Nikki talk. The bars were on go. One bar said she knew not to say anything about Nikki, and I agree. She'd be flushing her own career down the toilet. She know her limits, and she know how far not to go. She'd rather chew her own hand than to ever name drop Nicki Minaj in a song. Not because Nicki would actually respond, but because them barbs are built different. Y'all like this video, and remember to touch that bell. That way you are notified every single time I post. All in all, the song was pretty catchy. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below.